Hi guys, this is your host Neil on the Debate Time series, and we will be debating on is Windows included editing that good, and what I mean by included editing and Windows is from Windows 8 when today's photos and video editor started as an included bundle with the apps. Also with Windows Server 2019, which is the most recent, I know it's not a home computer version, but with that too, you could also get MS Photos and Video Editor, and the problem with it, because this is today's debate and the topic, the aspect ratio choices aren't that good, even when you want to make a, an anamorphic aspect ratio presentation, and if you want good resolution, because in certain ways the quality will be lost since th since there's a difference between resolution and quality and even though there's good things like sometimes certain editing software will be paid for and the free trial will be annoying and you'll have to use it after and make sure you're subscribing if it's a subscription software you're using for video it's not that bad, but the other advantage, which is the other thing, since MS Photos and Video Editor has many disadvantages, really, is that it's not that bad to use if you want a good alternative, and even though nothing I'm saying is repetitive, it's just stuff you might want to use if you want to use Windows 10 included software, and it won't be that bad. So that was the whole debate, and I hope you enjoyed it, and bye, everyone. Oh, just under